Aloha! Mahalo! I'm Carmel Mooney and welcome to my California kitchen. Today I'm excited to share with you my Aloha Coconut Bites. And they're easier to make than it is to say Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apuaha. We start off our island adventure today by mixing in a half a cup of melted margarine with one yellow cake mix. And one egg. Now we're going to incorporate that together in a mixing bowl. Next we're going to pat the mixture into a well greased baking pan. Now we pat this down evenly and firmly throughout the baking pan. Okay, my next step will be to take two eggs, place them in my mixing bowl, and beat them lightly. And then I'm going to add 16 ounces of powdered sugar, one cup of coarsely chopped nuts. Now you can use macadamia nuts if you really want to go tropical, or you could even use pecans or walnuts, whatever nuts you like. A half a cup of shredded coconut, and I'm also going to add 8 ounces of Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese and 1 teaspoon of coconut extract. We're almost there. This tropical delight is almost mixed to perfection. Now we're going to spread our tropical delight all over the crust. And we spread it evenly in the pan, just like so. Now we place this in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. You know, it doesn't really matter what type of tropical forecast you're predicting, whether you're expecting tubular waves, rainbows, high clouds, or lots of rain, because my Aloha Coconut Bites are sure to be a tropical sensation. I can guarantee you're going to be going coconuts over this dessert. In fact, I'm so sure I'm willing to bet my flip-flops on it. You might not be able to make it to the islands, but you can bring a little of the tropics to your house with my Aloha Coconut Bites. So just remember, until next time, do everything in good taste.